Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rob's Triathlon Tips for Beginners. Uh, one of the things that other triathlon channels don't talk about is sunscreen in terms of racing. And so I thought it'd be useful information to share my tips on that. So I, I'll just walk through the different uh, distances of triathlons that you may be doing with my advice on what you may want to do in terms of protecting your skin. So let's start with the shortest and work our way to the longest. Uh, the shortest distance you'll probably do is a try a try, T-R-Y. <laughs> um, and that's a pretty short race. It's, I think, 300 meter swim, 10 kilometer bike ride and a two and a half kilometer run. And you see, you're probably gonna be done that within an hour and the swim's probably going to be in a pool and the bike can run outside and I wouldn't even bother with sunscreen. You might get a mild burn if if at all and you know I wouldn't bother. Next up would be sprint triathlon um, 750 meter swim it's probably going to be in the lake and um, not going to take you that long, really. I wouldn't bother with putting sunscreen on your neck um, before the swim. Uh, what I would do is get a spray sunscreen, sports spray, and put that on in transition between the swim and the bike. And that's going to be good enough for your race. You just quickly spray yourself and you won't get burnt because um, after the bike, is 20k you're gonna run for 5k and if you're an average athlete like me you're gonna be done in about an hour and a half and the sunscreen's gonna last plenty of time so you'll just spray yourself that one time during a sprint and you'll be good uh, during an Olympic distance you're gonna again you're gonna be swimming um, 1.5 kilometer swim and that may take you oh I don't know half an hour so you may want to consider uh, putting some sun some lotion or some waterproof spray on your neck at least you want to be careful what you put on your face if you put it too close to where you put your goggles on they won't seal and then you'll be getting water in your eyes <laughs> So maybe put some here if you want, but don't get in this area. Um, yeah, and your face is in the water basically half the time you're swimming anyway. I would worry about your neck. Uh, but you may choose to not put anything on um, during for the swim for an Olympic distance. But then you're going to be biking 40 kilometers which is going to take you more than an hour unless you're a really fast cyclist. So you definitely want sunscreen on for that. And then after you're done the bike, you're going to need to run 10 kilometers. So if you're an average athlete like me, the bike, if it's a fairly flat course, it's going to take you, you're going to bike about 30 kilometers an hour. So you're going to take about an hour and 20 minutes to finish the 40 kilometer bike ride. And then you're gonna finish the 10 kilometer run in about an hour, cause you'll be running on tired legs. Maybe you could finish 10K in 50 minutes normally, but it'll slow you down a little bit with tired legs. So that's a fair amount of time in the sun. Um, so you want to, just like in the sprint, either spray yourself with a sport sunscreen uh, and see how that goes in your first <laughs> Olympic distance. If you get burnt from that, then the next time we'll just spend a little extra time and transition putting actual lotion, rubbing that into your skin. I know some people like to, uh, the morning of the race, put lotion on so it soaks into your skin. But uh, if you're going to swim in a wetsuit, uh, you're going to rub a bunch of that off on the inside of your wetsuit when you pull it off. 
so I've never done that. I just think that's a recipe for getting burnt. Uh, next up, you have uh, half Iron Man, and the swim is 1.9k, so just a little bit longer than an Olympic distance swim. I, I, every time I put some sunscreen on my neck. To make sure that that's either spray and it's dry or lotion and it's rubbed in well and then I put lotion on other exposed parts in transition because it's a long day um, you're gonna bike 90 kilometers which is gonna take you you know three to three and a half hours depending on how difficult the course is if you're an average athlete and that's about how long, if you read uh, sunscreen, that's about how long it says you can use that sunscreen before you need to reapply it. So in a half Ironman, don't make the mistake of just applying sunscreen once. You will end up burnt at the end of the day. You need to reapply sunscreen in the run and bike transition. Whether that's a spray, if you're trying to save time, or if you don't care about your time, put lotion on. <laughs> I'm, I don't care about my time that much, so I usually put lotion on. It, pr it, it protects my skin better, from my experience. So half Iron Man, sunscreen your neck before the swim, sunscreen the rest of your body twice, once in each transition, or you'll get you're gonna get burnt. And now. The last distance is a full Ironman, and I did. I just did Ironman Lake Placid, my first Ironman, and I was only mildly burnt on my quads, on the tops of my legs. The rest of my body was completely fine, and there were people who were beat red, and they were going to be in so much pain <laughs> because they did not sunscreen properly. <laughs> so I'll share with you my strategy and how that, that worked well. Again, I had sunscreen my neck before the swim because it's a 3.8 kilometer swim, which is a long time. It took me an hour and 28 minutes or something like that. I forget exactly what it was. But you can get burnt in that time on your neck. I actually did my face a little bit carefully and my nose carefully and uh, goggles sealed well. And I actually did the tips of my ears too because you're your swim cap will slip off and so that worked well and then I applied lotion um, on the before I got left in the transition to get on the bike they provide uh, lotion in the aid station or in the transition area for a full Ironman and they may do so for a half I the halves I did I had my own sunscreen um, yeah, and then you'll head out on the bike, which is 180 kilometers. And if it's a super flat course and you're going 30k an hour, you're going to be done in six hours. If it's a hilly course, it could take you seven, seven and a half hours if you're an average athlete. So that's a huge amount of time to be out in the sun. Uh, so you need to reapply sunscreen uh, after your first, if it's a two lap course, you need to. Find a way to reapply sunscreen at the mid mark of an Ironman. And the way I did that was I had uh, a little container of sunscreen in my special needs bicycle bag, which you can get at the halfway mark of the bike. So I pulled over, got my special needs bike bag, got my extra nutrition, and reapplied sunscreen and headed back out on the bike. And then in the transition from the bike to the run, there's again a station in the transition area with sunscreen. I reapplied again. Then I headed out on the run. And I had the same strategy for the run. I had sunscreen in my uh, special needs run bag. And so following that reapplying strategy, I only had a mild burn on the tops of my legs from the, the long bike ride. It took me over seven hours because the Lake Placid course has a lot of climbing 
and there's you know some treed areas but your quads are basically facing the sun the whole time <laughs> so i mean i i personally have never seen a video of anyone explaining sunscreening in a triathlon before which is insane everybody just says just slap that stuff on and, and get going and that's how you end up burnt so hopefully you found this video to be useful if you did please uh, give it a like make sure you're subscribed to my channel and share this video with your friends who are planning to do a triathlon and will benefit from it especially a half distance or a full distance thanks